How about we call ourselves Audio Apostles? But that sounds too much like a rock band. We, we're a Christian dance troupe. Mm. Oh, why don't we call ourselves Heaven's Heroes? I mean, because as Christians in today's world, we truly are heroes. Mm. I don't want to wear a cape. Okay. Trinity Four. The, uh, the actually Trinity means three to the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So to say Trinity Four is kind of it's mathematically incorrect, it's, but yeah, and, it, and it's kind of dumb. Hey, guys, hey, how's hey, hey, Pastor Jerry. All right, so you guys have been working on names, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What you got? We have a couple of um, things we want to put together, but nothing so far we want to reveal. We're not here to judge people's ideas. We're here to look at them and say, that one's not good and this one is. Yeah. And find the one that is. Um, that makes sense. I want you to remember one of the things that it needs to have, it's got to have edgy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You want a name that is edgy. It's, it's like, um, oh, what's, what's uh, Black Eyed Peas? Oh, oh you know that yeah, yeah, I know like, who that yeah. is. Black Eyed yeah. Black Eyed Who's? The Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, yeah I don't. Kind of idea. The idea of patterning our Christian dance troupe after the Black Eyed Peas seems dangerous. Zach <clears throat> seems to have a lot of issues with the direction of the band. And so because of that, Pastor Jerry wants us to be bathed in prayer. Praying. Praying. Just prayer. Being bathed yes. in prayer. Absolutely. We are going to bathe you guys in prayer. And you have what? a prayer partner. <laughs> who just happens to be a celebrity author. What? what? Mm -hmm. Get out. Shut I'm up, I'm saving it as a surprise. You are wow. not getting it out come of on, me. Come You're on. not getting what? it out of me. Nope. Oh, and this is, of course, Cynthia, the woman who helped me get my book published, The Jesus oh, Diet. Right. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Thank you, seriously. Thank you for your gift to all of us. Yes, and she, she's an incredible woman, and she has written how many? Thirteen. Thirteen oh. romance, Christian romance, Christian novels, romance novels, all on the shelves and available today. I do not write about sex. I write about Christian sex, which is the best kind. Yeah. Can I t just tell you how I title my books? I don't think about it. I don't even entertain a title until I've written the final words, and then I just trust wow. that God is going to deliver it to me, and He has done it every time, including this net last novel, The Rose Inside Her Hope Chest. It came to me the, the minute I put down the end. Could, could you maybe, I don't know if I'm being for but I don't know if maybe you could read. Or I, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can <laughs> find maybe a passage that inspired the title. As Violet showered for her first unveiling, she offered a quick whispered prayer to God. Yeah. <gasps> it was a prayer of thanks. Thank you. That she saved her holy flower for this, her wedding night. She sprayed her body with fine perfumes before removing the promise ring that had symbolized her cherished chastity. Wow. Cherished. <laughs> Sometimes around, I'm around men or around God, I'm, I wonder if I smell okay, you know? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you do. And you I know, do. it's not a sin to put some perfume on, just to spruce it up, or deodorant, or any of that. God's mm -hmm. okay with all yeah. of that. And a lot um, of times I, you want to clean it up. Yeah. I used to make my own cologne. It was a a, a bit of um, patchouli oil, cinnamon, and uh, duck sauce. Pastor Jerry, why why is Zach sitting by himself? I only have room in my life for one Christian romance novel. It's called The Bible. And it's about the lover of my soul. Look, at least Zach knows where his boundaries are as a Christian. And that's something that you're all going to have to decide. You know, you, you're going to be performing in front of thousands, maybe even millions of kids. So you have to decide, do you, do you want to be an example like Madonna and George Michael? Or do you want to be an example like Bono, who is a Christian artist that changes the world every day? The choice is up to you. So, I mean, we just have to, we have to be aware and on guard just because there's so many evils that we're going to be yeah. and on the road you guys 
There's a lot to contend with. We're gonna have to pray a lot, yeah. hold each other accountable, big yeah. time. Because sure. you know he's holding us accountable. Totally. Yes, he, he is. is. <laughs> yes, yeah. he is. We, I mean, we pretty much need to make a promise to God and mm -hmm. cross our hearts. Yeah, definitely, be vigilant. Oh my gosh, cross my heart. Cro that could be the name of our our band. Cross my heart, but with a cross, you know, cross. <laughs> That's, yes. That's really good. That's yeah. Good. Yes. We, we, we can even be, we can have a dance and just be like, <laughs> cross my heart. Oh, let's all do it. Let's totally do it. Come on. Do it again. Do it again. Cross, cross, cross my, my heart. heart. And just spin around a little and just put your hands into it and just do it. No, no, I mean, you'll teach us, but that's okay. I'll show you. But yeah. Just a little bit more looser. With, yeah. yeah. Do you cross. Like, cross. Oh. You're, how does it go again?